Lord everyone, Brother Roop here. Here on a beautiful sunny day. I uh, hope you can uh, see it. I got a little shadow there on the side, but uh, <clears throat> I think you still see it. We are in chapter 13 of the book of Acts, chapter 13, verse 4. Uh, Paul and Barnabas and Luke, are all three are being sent to uh, a missionary journey. First to Cyprus and then the Asia Minor. And the brethren have just prayed over them because uh, in those days you really, you really need to be prayed over. They were rough days. A lot of bandits and criminals and running around. Law enforcement really didn't exist. And... Um, so they're going on a long journey, and um, they were, and they just sent them forth. If you read the last part of verse three, they sent them away. So verse four. So they, being uh, Barnabas, Paul, and uh, Luke, uh, sent forth by the Holy Ghost, departed unto Cilicia. And from thence sailed to Cyprus. Now they are in an Anatoke right now. Uh, an Anatoke is a sizable city. It's in Syria, but it's right there in the Syrian Turkish border, which what's today is Syrian and Turkish border. Uh, back then, of course, it was just the Roman Empire, but. Uh, uh, and so there's a river well they departed down the river Orontes uh, where that takes them to the to the Mediterranean where Cilicia is um, the distance from Anatoke to Seleucia by water is about 41 miles while the journey by land is only 16 miles. So it's shorter by land, by road, but, um, you know, <laughs> it, it, it's a whole lot easier floating down river for 41 miles than it is to be walking for 16. So, <laughs> so that's, it's a no brainer why they floated down the river. So I'm sure everybody floated down the river a whole lot easier. And, uh, you know, the stream was taking you that way anyway. But anyway, Anatoke is, uh, if you look at a map, the northeastern part of the Mediterranean makes a little horn where Syria and Turkey, Turkish border is today. And Anatoke is right there on the river Orontes. And the, it, you go downstream, not very far, and you have the, a port city of Seleucus. That's a, a Roman port city. That's where they're going to catch a boat. If you're going to catch a boat, you go to Port City, right? So, just a little something about Cilicia. Uh, Pompeii gave it the privileges of being a free city. And Paul sp speaks of those privileges uh, here in the New Testament. Um, here in the midst of... Uh, See unsympathizing sailors and the miss and the two missionary apostles with their younger companions stepped on board a vessel which was to convey them to Salamis. Um, as they so they departed Anatoke by boat, right down the river, probably in a barge type vessel. Floated down the river to Salamis. We're really going to catch a cargo boat. And uh, that's where that's where they caught it. And so I always, I always like to think about how, what these three apostles were experiencing as they went on their journey. How it was in real life. You know, we could read about it in the book, but what were they seeing? What were they hearing? What were the sights and sounds of their journey? You know, when they're in that boat, you know, leaving the town, as they cleared the port, uh, 
you know, probably the whole sweep of the bay of Anatok opened up to their left, the low ground by the mouth of the Orontis River, the wild and woody country beyond it, and then the peak of Mount Cassius, um, rising above the very edge of the sea. That, that's a uh, mountain of about 5,000 feet. You know, on the right is the southwest horizon. If the day was clear, they, they, they could see the island of Cyprus from the very first when they got out the ocean. You know, the, the current sets northerly and northeast uh, between the island and the Syrian coast. But with a fair wind, a few hours would enable them to run down from Seleucia to Salamis in Cyprus. And the land would rapidly rise in forms as well, and familiar to Barnabas and Mark, because that's where they're from. So if you just imagine a little boat journey, um, that's what I like to do, just imagine what they're seeing, what they're hearing, what they're experiencing. Anyway. Those are my uh, my little thoughts about it. So they're on their way. They're on a boat. They're on a port city, and they're leaving on a boat to Cyprus, and they're going to start their missionary journey for Paul. You know, Mister Big Mouth. <laughs> so he, it's going to be a, some rough experiences, but um, we'll 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 break it down as we see it. So. Anyway, if you like this story, uh, subscribe and ring the bell, and uh, you can hear more. And and uh, thanks, thanks for listening. God bless you.